One of the technologies that's revolutionizing the hobby of remote control is the ability to create, design, manufacture, repair your models at home using your own custom 3D printed parts. Everything from simple brackets for cameras right the way up to full drones with arms, landing gear and other pieces can be designed and printed now at home on the latest generation of 3D printers. Now I've been working with 3D printers for about a year and a half and I've played a little bit with things like Printerbot and PLA and also spent some time with design tools like SketchUp. Finally, after a couple of good prods from some subscribers, so thank you to John and a couple of others for giving me the push, I'm investing in a 3D printer. And I'll talk about the 3D printer and the other things when the series starts in earnest. The series, I intend to cover everything that an RC model maker would need to know to get into 3D printing and hopefully get some useful stuff out the other side. We're going to cover things like the material, uh, PVC, PLA, all those different types of plastics, what they're useful for and why there are different types. We're going to talk about why people talk about using hairspray, painter's tape, having heated beds, having not heated beds, what that means, how you download models from the internet, how you then slice those models or cut them into little thin pieces so that you can then send them along to the printer. We'll talk about tips and tricks in the series of how you make sure that the printer is working optimally for you. There are lots of very small things that you can change on the printer, including the Z heights, to make sure that the print that you're getting is as close to what you want as possible. We'll talk about how to finish the prints, and then we'll talk about editing and creating the edited models that you've actually done. I've had a couple of questions in things like SketchUp where how do you change things like hole sizes and we can talk about those as well. But the reason for this video is more to ask you as my subscribers, remote control community, what it is that you're interested in understanding. And also for those of you that are already 3D printing to kind of give me a couple of hints and tips of things that you discovered by accident that it will be useful to cover as part of the series for the remote control community. So please, in the description below this video, please put either what you'd like to see as part of the series, if it's 3D printing is something that you're interested in but you haven't got into it yet, or if you've been doing it for a little while as part of either remote control or for any other hobby that you're interested in, those kind of little tips and tricks that you think are good to share as part of the series too. Thank you to everybody for your help and support over the channel. We're now well over the 25,000 subscriber mark and with this series hopefully it will become an even more useful place for those who love remote control to come and find out more about the products they love. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.